My lords and my ladies of the royal court, an incident from the life of the precious Mahatma Gandhi. Now you see, like I explained to you, they call this here cat the Hip Gan. That's what they call him. That's everybody call him the Hip Gan, the sweet, precious Hip Gan. He wailed India. He gassed India. He grooved India. Now I'm going to tell you why. You see, India was bugged with the lion. Every time India get a little extra scarf in the cupboard, wham, here come the lion, chomp, swoop the scene, and there stand the poor Indian scarfless, bugged him to death. That was uh, before the hip gan blew in on the scene, see. And the day that the hip gan blew in on the scene seemed to be the lion's big swinging day because he was into that scoff's patch up to his shoulders, scoffing up an insane breeze. So the hip gan back away about 30 or 40 feet and he hold out his arms cool wise and he uh, do a running bar jumping. Mah! on that lion's tail so hard that the lion swooped the scene and that gassed India. Gassed him. So naturally we turn, they want to gas him back. So Mr. Ribbity, the Indian pop thriller, he sent out to all the Indian musicians to the Ribbity players, the dong dong players, the dang dang players, the mangalong players, and the reed heads and the lewd heads and the blue heads and all the blowing heads there was to come on in they're going to gas a big jam session but again. And whew, here they come, here they come, the happy group grooving into this big place to send and swing the gang. And when they all get in there together, Mr. Rabbity, the Indian park trailer, he stand up, he said, Boys, you know what to blow. They say groovy. So here come the gang with the 26 chicks with the horn rim glasses and 19 nanny goats and two spinning wheels. And he looks so sharp and so fine and so groovy because he got a nice clean white dowel dowel on and the love light is beaming through his glasses and gassing the whole scene. And they swing him in and they sit him down on some nice groovy sofa pillars, silken that is, and they, they cool the nanny goats and the chicks all cuddle and they start to blow. And my lords and my ladies, I'm going to hip you. You may have heard a lot of jam sessions blown off. You may have heard of New Orleans flips. You may have heard of Chicago style. You may have heard of all kinds of jazz jumping the wildest and the most insane. You may have heard of many musical insane flips, but you studs and stallions and cats and kiddies never dug any session like these cats blew. They wailed so hard that the snakes in the jungle picked up on the lick and come stomping in for the session had to send out the snake guards. They ain't no dancing tonight, boys. We just hip and began. That's all we play a little jam session. Brought the poor snakes clean down. And they had to send around the wig tappers. You see what I mean? Say, Jack, I can't put that wig back on you, man. You, it's going in the same hole. You blowing too hard. You got to cool yourself for a little while. And they're blowing up such a crazy, groovy scene that it was W for your head. And when the scene was all over, Mr. Rabideen, the Indian pot thriller, he swing over to the hip gun and he do a nice swinging bow and he say, Oh, great, sweet, swinging, groovy, double clutching, high, non stop, pine top go of all double swings in beauty. The hip gun say, well, if I ain't, I'm a big, fat, groovy pole on a rough hill on the way there. He said, tell me something. He said, tell me something. Did you dig the scene? And the hip gun said, baby, when I hear them rabbit players players and the dong dong players and the blue bloom players and the flip heads and the loot heads and the reed heads and all these bars wailing up such an insane love breeze, it brought to me the beauty and the mysticism and the wonder and the gorgeous theme, and the gorgeous swing, and all the great wild non-stop ethereal that is Mother India. So Mr. Rabbity say, well, your sweet hipness, I like to twist it my way getting this session together for you, but I sure did enjoy it, because I see the beauty in your face. But would you do me a little favor? Say, course, baby. He said, tell me, which one of the instruments did you dig the most? 
So the hip guy looked at him and a love look came on his face and he said, well, baby, <laughs> the music of all India, which I dig the most, you ain't got here. Mr. Rapp, this is a man, what are you saying? This I got the doom doom blaze, the bang bang blaze, and the liberty blaze, then the reed heads and the loot heads, and every head that I can dig up a swing out of the jungle here to blow with his cat. He tell me the one he dig the most, I ain't got here. Say that's right. He said, well, sweet double hipness, great beloved non-stop beauty, straighten me, cause I'm ready. And the hip guy said, that's right, that's right. Well, here's the lick. He said, baby, the instrument of all India, which I dig the music the most of, that swings my soul up in a great cathedral head of beauty, is the music of the He's a the spinning wheel, baby. Knock a little patch on the cat's pants. Swing a coat on grandma. Get a little juice on the table. Swang up with a little circus money. He said, the spinning wheel, baby. <laughs> I hope I didn't bring you down. And Mr. Rabbit, he said, no, sweet double hypnose. You have swung my groove. Thank you. And the hip can said, thank you. It was cool and groovy.